Hey guys, it's Russell Tussle, and today we're going to be playing RimWorld Alpha 15. Uh, I played Alpha 13, I believe, so it's been a while. Uh, so I don't know exactly what's new. I think it's drug addiction and something else, which, <laughs> which should make things pretty interesting, I think. Uh, so we're going to do Crash Landed Scenario, that's my favorite. Uh, we're going to do Cassandra Classic, Rough, and Permadeath. Uh, and then I'm told myself, as a rule, I get three rerolls for for starting colonists, as well as three random sites. So if I don't want the, f so if I don't want the first one, I can reroll up to three times. Of course, Windows is trying to update. Okay, so ooh, what is this? Shrubland flat. Okay, that's pretty good. Where are we on the map? Right here. Marble slate, growing period year round. Um, so while that's probably easier, I think, I don't really want flat, I like mountains. So that, all right, so that's number one. Well, the number one doesn't count. So now I have three rerolls. So that's one. Uh, temperate forest, small hills. Limestone, granite. Okay, actually, this is pretty perfect. So we'll, we'll stick with that one. I'm not going to risk it. Uh, and so I can reroll each colonist up to three times. Uh, so that's one. Two. Oh, annoying voice. <laughs> what is that? Oh, God, his name is Hannibal. So we'll see. So that, there's... Uh, what was that? That was two on that one. I don't like people that are incapable of anything because it makes things harder. All right, this person's awesome already. Look at that research. One, two, oh God, that's terrible. Three. Oh God, we're gonna end up with a lot of smart people that can't do anything. Uh, incapable of violence. Okay. Well, this is this is what we what we have. We've Hannibal the nurse, uh, Vernagen the clerk, and Pre the blaster. So let's begin. Uh, I'm gonna try to break each episode into like between twenty and thirty minutes. It might go a little over depending on what happens. The three of you awake in your cryo sleep sarcophagi to the sound of sirens and ripping metal. You barely get to the escape pods before the ship is torn apart. Sometime later, you land on this unknown rim world. As the pieces of the shredded starship fall around you, you start making plans to survive. So the first thing I like to do is pause the game as soon as I get past that screen and highlight the whole map, because then you can unrestrict everything on the entire map. Otherwise, where let's see where they land. Otherwise, when we try to highlight stuff, it'll select the people by default. And it takes way longer to go in. Oops. Alright, come on people, get out of the way. See, I'm having trouble just with these ones. Alright. So Hannibal can't attack anything, so there's no point in giving him a weapon. Uh, she's pretty good with melee. She's a brawler, so she has to use melee, otherwise she'll be sad. So that kind of stinks. So she gets the knife. Um, Pre gets... Oh, Pre is short for Priscilla. Gets the survival rifle. So we're not, we're not off to a great start. It's fine. Uh, at least we have some decent hills and lots of trees to cut down for wood. So, it doesn't really look like there's any, you know, very defensible area to build. So I think our best bet is to just build somewhere open then? Hmm. Hmm. I'm kind 
final ball is that slate. And we have granite. Is that a wall? No. Granite and limestone. Hmm. 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 I have no idea where to build, guys. All right. Well, we might as well just build smack dab in the middle somewhere. We'll just build in the center of this, I guess. We'll build off of this wall. It'll look silly to begin with. Actually, on second thought, let's not build off of that wall. I think you can use thermal vents for energy, but I've never actually done it. What is this? Jade. I don't think I've ever found jade before. All right, we'll just build around here. So we need a stockpile. And these will probably be moved. And a dumping stockpile. Um, and let's start with just a really small kind of seven by seven room, I guess. like to assign people jobs um, if they have a passion in it because might as well you know it levels it levels up quicker and then I always like to do hauling and plant cutting for everyone because if you ever need to like harvest a bunch of crops or cut down a bunch of trees at once it makes life so much easier This thing lets you basically set their schedule, so you can assign uh, anything time, work, joy, or sleep. I like to do two hours of joy in the morning, afternoon, and at night, so that's kind of like their breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, and then five hour work periods in between, because you want to keep people happy for as long as possible. Uh, we might be, oh no, there's wood down there. Oh, and we have a husky! That's my favorite starting animal. Because they're smart enough to haul stuff. Let's cut down some trees. Oh, you know what? I almost forgot. We need... Plants. I, this is the one thing I almost always forget when starting a new game, is I forget to plant crops, and then I die. Because if you don't plant them as soon as you possibly can, and start like trying to create a surplus for winter, it, it makes things very, very difficult. Crap, is anyone good at growing? One, seven, okay. One. Oh, geez. So it looks like we only have one grower. So we'll do... Where is it? We'll do rice, potatoes, and corn. Uh, so now it's joy time. That's why they're all kind of hanging out. Because if you don't have any joy objects, they either like stargaze or go for walks. I didn't realize you could build a roof over trees. So that's kind of interesting. You want to make your buildings as finished as possible with 
built walls, like even if you tunnel into a mountain, you should always have built walls on the outside of rooms because it increases, makes it more beautiful for your colonists and increases their mood. And you always want floors. All right, for work, I think I might tell everyone to grow. Uh, even though they're terrible, they'll get better. It's almost sleep time. All right, for night one, we're just gonna have to go with sleeping spots. People get it like a negative, uh, let's call them moodlet. Uh, even though I know that's pretty much Sims terminology from sleeping on the floor. Or modifier. Negative modifier. Oh, eight without table. Tons of joy. See? When they keep their joy up, they get that mood lit. New colony optimism. I think that's a new one. Very low expectations. This place is poverty stricken. I can't expect any comfort here. I need to keep myself strong. Oh, I think those are new. Maybe they did that to make it easier with your colonists going crazy and murdering each other in the beginning. Because that used to happen a lot. People would go berserk like every new game. Someone would go berserk and shoot somebody. It was pretty, it was pretty hard. How much food? All right, we got we got some food going on. All right, guys, come on, plant. So Pre is incapable of dumb labor. So I don't. Can he cut plants? What is he doing? He can't cut plants, but he can grow. Which I guess bypasses the not being able to do dumb labor. Because he has to cut down the plants to grow stuff. So that's interesting. Alright, we're on day two. I feel like today is probably just going to be a farm day. Actually, on second thought, let's have someone construct beds for everyone. Because they're not the biggest fans of sleeping on the floor. Oops. They don't really like to share rooms either, but it's better than not having a roof at all. I forget. After a certain amount of days, I think it's like four or five, you get a wanderer joins, like almost always. So then we'll have a fourth person. And hopefully they have some more skill as related to some of the stuff we need done. So I think I'm actually gonna move that bed over there. So I can build a research bench. I have to wait till it's moved. All right, we got a little bit of each type of crop growing. Rice grows the fastest, but has the smallest yield. Potatoes, like in the middle, it grows moderate speed, moderate yield. Corn grows the slowest, but has the highest yield. Like a field, like a nine by nine field of corn can feed you for a very long time, but it pretty much takes all the way to fall to grow.
All right, so we can start researching stuff. Passive cooler, a way to cool indoor spaces without using electricity. I feel like that's new. Oh my god, drug production? Uh, okay. Hydroponics, microelectronics, basics. Basis of working with delicate complex electronics, unlocks the high tech research bench, comms console. Well, I usually do stone cutting because I'm almost always in a mountain, but I don't know that we'll need to do that this playthrough. I think we're probably going to go wood most of the way. Uh, so I'm actually not entirely sure what to do. for our first research. I want to be able to make guns. Oh, what is this? You can forbid doors so colonists and tame animals won't go through them. Oh god, they have lessons! Kind of like The Sims. That's awesome. I'm very happy they did that. I had to learn this game the hard way. High tech research bench. All right, I don't know what else to learn, so might as well go with microelectronic basics for now. Okay, good, we do have some, what is flicking? Flick switches. Oh, turn that on for everyone. Oh, we actually have two people with high research skills. After the crops are planted, we might probably pre just make them research full time. Sometimes I do that, just have one person that's literally dedicated to like cooking food, cleaning, and then doing research when those two things are done. Oh, they're socializing. Ooh, I guess Hannibal's kind of a dick. Hard worker versus lazy. Oh, so if they have different traits that don't agree. Like hard workers won't like lazy people. Hannibal's, that's pretty cool. So Hannibal is okay with her, but she's not really okay with him because he's lazy. I really appreciate that. That's pretty complex. Also, this music is like super Firefly-esque and I love, I love it so much. All right, so this is gonna be like a hallway. And then I usually do, everyone gets their own big bedroom. Because if you don't, well, Big bedrooms make people a lot happier than small bedrooms. Like, it's almost not even worth having small bedrooms. Uh, just for the fact that once you get like more stuff to put in their bedrooms to make their lives easier, it gets more and more cramped, which gives them a negative moodlet when they're sleeping. What I, I usually do four by I think I usually do four by six. Which means when you lay out the room it's six by eight. Yeah. are almost done. 
Could you imagine if you need to water crops in this game? Like you do in like Stardew Valley? It would take forever. Forever. Low food source. <gasps> oh no, we don't have any meals left. Uh, can someone hunt? Tree. Okay, he has the rifle. Alright, we gotta hunt some animals for food. Boars are good to hunt. What is it? Oh? Ooh, not hunting that. Rabbits. That also means we need a butcher block. Butcher table, sorry. Alright, Hannibal prioritize. Oh, I guess... Are you the social one? You are. Let's see if we can buy some food. He's still shooting that poor... Poor boar. Alright, let's buy... You know, let's just buy all of it. Let's buy all their pemmican. Which is this fat and plant fiber, I think. And it tastes like the colony cannot afford the deal. What do you mean? Oh no, did we not haul our silver? Our starting silver? Nope. Oh. Alright, come on. Right? Yep. Alright, now we get food. <laughs> Finally, Pre. Jesus. That took you forever. Alright, spoils in two days. So we have, we have some time to build a butcher table. Factions. Oh, cool. So we have two factions that are hostile. Hostile? Hostile? To us. Since it looks like you'll be here for a while ahead, we'll think you should name this colony Brennigsville. Yeah, sure. I usually just keep the default. Because, meh. Camino of the cat. Camino of cat? What? Okay. White Polar Bear, Kiro, the Rocket Rhinos. The names in this game are great. Let's let's be honest about it. They're they're fantastic. Pre, you're in the way, buddy. Oh look, Pre's researching. Cool. And then we have the 65 year old woman doing all the hauling. It's cool. Well, he can't actually haul. Or she? Is that a, is that a girl or a boy? Oh, Pre's a girl. Oh right, because it's short for Priscilla. I forgot. Also need wood floors for all these rooms. Which means we need to chop some more trees. I think you can only chop grown trees, is how it works. Oh, 
Oh, might as well get her all these trees too. God, who who is throwing up over here? Where's the dog? I feel like the dog gets sick a lot and will just throw up everywhere. <gasps> mad animal. Local hare has gone mad. Alright, where is it? Oh, it's below us. Oh god, it's close. Alright, Pre. Defend us, Pre. What? He one-shotted it. That's cool. Alright. You've redeemed yourself, Pre. Alright, we're almost out of pemmican, which is not good. Well, maybe rice doesn't really grow faster than... Oh yeah, it does. Oh, it's pretty sporadic. That was the end of day three. Are we... Alright, no, there's still trees to chop. Oh, it's joy hour. So they're all doing stuff. That was my cat's food dispenser. Almost done with the floor. Spoil soon. Well, we also don't have electricity, so we don't have a way of cooking stuff, stuff and things. Uh, where do I want to put these? So I feel like our base would probably build up left and up. So let's put them south of the fields, I think. We also need batteries that are covered. Because fun fact, if you put a battery outside and it rains, it'll explode and start a fire. Oh yay, Wanderer joins. Oh, she's naked. Oh, is she a nudist? She's not. She's pretty and she's a careful shooter. Oh nice, she's incapable of scary. What does that mean? What's scary? Yeah, yeah I, rem I remember cover. Uh, so maybe we have a pistol somewhere, right? Oh, and then we have to assign her work. Construction repair. We'll have her grow as well. We have a lot of people with interest in research. Look. Uh, what 
was I doing? Right, I was building a battery room. Two, five. Oh, that means we also need another bed. We'll just stick it in this corner for now. Is this thing rotten yet? Bills, add bill, butcher creature, forever, animal corpses. Uh, I could have sworn there's a way to do it to not allow rotten. Maybe it's automatic now. Alright, definitely need to harvest some food tomorrow. Oh, the only thing about that is I feel like people eat it raw. Europa is getting food poisoning from berries. Who's Europa? Oh, Europa's the husky. Okay. Oh, Master Hannibal. Oh, but you have a bond with Ferdinand. Ferdinand. If if an animal isn't paired with their whoever they have a bond with, it'll give them a negative modifier. And if they are bonded, it gives them a positive one. Oh no, Ali. Or Ali, whatever your name is. Alright, it's summer. We had a wanderer join. And now there are visitors. Who shot the timber wolf? That's interesting. Oh, right. I was laying down power. Um, we'll do that. And then that. It is quite nice having another person to construct stuff. So she has a passion in construction, but her actual construction skill is kind of low. So she'll fail a lot, which wastes materials, but it'll level up still pretty quick. And in, in the long term, it's better to have someone that can also do that. All right, electric stove, but we don't, it's not hooked up. And then we also need batteries to store excess. Did someone just murder an animal? <gasps> I think that fox is eating our food. That's funny. Oh god, he's almost done with the research. Alright, Bill. Add bill, cook simple meal. Uh, so a simple meal is what ingredient? Uh, like well, either 10 meat, 10 potato, 10 rice. A fine meal is, I think, meat and two vegetables or a vegetable and a fruit. Uh, so I think it's like 10 meat, five potatoes, five rice or something like that. Um, so we do simple meal. Oops, it's already in there. Uh, I usually do it, how do I do this? I usually like, I think it's five meals for each person is what I like. Even though you definitely don't need that many. All right, we'll start with 10 for now. And who is cooks? Oh, a lot of, a lot of good cooks.
Research finished, microelectronics. All right, so. Yeah, let's let's just go straight for the gun turrets. They're not terribly terribly good at aiming, but it's still better than not having gun turrets, I guess if that makes any sense. Uh, but well, guys, that's about. Uh, that's I think this is where I'm gonna end this episode. Uh, what day did we make it till? So we're on day six. Five days have passed since we landed. That's pretty good. Almost a whole week. Um, even though I've had it on like fast the entire time. But when you're starting out, you kind of just leave it on fast because you're building stuff. Once we get further down the road, there's more people to manage. I'll probably just have to slow it down more and pipe time will pass less quickly. But uh, yeah, so once again, my name is Russell Tussle, and this is part one of RimWorld Alpha 15. Uh, please like and subscribe below, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.